We're here just shy of Sedona. Nicole and I have to be in the Grand Canyon tonight before sunset because we want to be able to see the Grand Canyon. This is a big, that's a big draw to the Grand Canyon. Oh yeah. So We're not going for the nightlife. And some other <laughs> also, stuff. you leave your car just like in the middle of this Yeah, road. pretty much. <laughs> Don't worry about my parking, okay? We just own the place. We own the world. Wow. Look at these rocks. Are you looking at these rocks? So, cue the road trip music. Because we're on our way to the Grand Canyon. Okay, first of all, the Williams police have parked a police car on the outside of town. There's no cop in it, and there's literally grass growing around the sides, purely to slow traffic. Well played, Williams Police. Okay, we just got out of the information center, and as one could deduce by seeing the number of Route 66 signs around here, obviously at one point this was on Route 66, even though our GPS says we're on Interstate 40. Williams, Arizona was the last town to be bypassed. So in fact, there used to be a traffic light right here, which was the last standing traffic light on Route 66. But since it's been bypassed, the town is a lot quieter. They no longer had a need for it. So the traffic light is gone. Thank you, beautiful Williams. You are very quaint and cute, but we have a time schedule to keep with the sun. So we're on our way to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bison. We want to know if there are bears in this state. Is there anything beyond squirrels or marmots or birds? Or lizards? We just saw a sign that said, do not feed or approach the wildlife. And I have a feeling that sign was not made because people were feeding the tarantulas. So what is it that people stop to take pictures of and come see? I hope we see something on the way. That's a moose. We found a moose. Oh my, I'm, is it or is it just a huge deer? No, I don't think this is a moose. It's like an elk or something. Yeah. Wow. Oh, this poor little guy. That really didn't take long to answer our question of what kind of animals we can expect to see out here. This is the wildlife. He is, he's really cute. It actually distracted us. We were driving past the first uh, Grand Canyon viewpoint right there. We were so focused at them on the side of the road. Okay. Whoa. It's tough to even actually. Um, Whoa. Yeah. It just goes on. Yeah. Okay, there's three things I'm noticing here. The depth and the number of clear levels it's had. Two is the, the length and the extent of how far it goes. And three is the variety of colors. It just goes down so far. It's, it's a really strange feeling. Well, I'm from British Columbia where we have huge mountains. So when you go up a huge mountain, you're not shocked to see how far down it is because you know how high you've went. We've been riding across this plateau, these plains, until you get to the Grand Canyon where it just falls away. And so it's a very different feeling because you haven't gone up anywhere. So looking this far down out of the blue is pretty odd. We got all the license plates, okay? We have Utah, Colorado, Georgia, Texas, and California all next to each other. Nicole, tell us where we are right now. Grand view point. Right. The grandest view. Is it good? Are you, oh, you're not sticking out this side? Oh, I can't. <laughs> Look up to your right. We're at the Grand Canyon and Nicole thought it would be funny to stick yourself in the hole. Who thinks of that? That's why you keep thin people. For, the, for those good shots. Okay, this is good to know. We were just up there and there were some people down here and I thought they were just off trail being hooligans. But uh, it's an actual trail. You can come down with, you know, man-made steps here. The stairs are just made of logs on the edge of the cliff getting some serious vertigo. <laughs> do you not do well with heights? I really like heights, but I like to be not in Birkenstocks when I'm experiencing them. Okay. Oh my gosh, Nicole. What? Safety first. Basically along the Grand Canyon, 
there's sort of a central town and that has all the services and everything and then it stretches out to different viewpoints on either side we've decided to go east and there's about six viewpoints but only the last three are able to see the Colorado River so this is sort of the first time we were able to see it we have a couple more stops so hopefully we get to see it better but it's actually uh, wider and bigger than I thought it would be to get the shot sometimes you got to put in the work oh man obviously this is a popular spot but uh, ooh, you can see why Nicole's a little disappointed in our finale our choice of location being crowded by all these people but sunset at the Grand Canyon what do you expect I honestly feel really bad because I I feel like we're leaving this vlog on a bit of a down note and it's nothing wrong with the, the Grand Canyon it was maybe just bad planning on our part it's one of those do you continue driving to get to the best viewpoint or do you just stay where you are and enjoy it we chose the former when maybe we should have chosen the latter bye Tell them to subscribe or something. Subscribe. Or something. Can you open my beer for me, please?